Good day. Welcome to King William Was Everything. Uh, this is part two of my uh, series of soldering things that I kind of like using. And this is a uh, Zenny um, reflow station soldering hot iron that does reflow. Uh, basically, the reflow is just um, it's a heater. Got a little heating wand. But uh, I'll start off by just kind of showing you the, um, uh, the soldering iron part. And then we'll look at the heating part, the heating element, and maybe... Uh, desolder something really quick, a solder something just for fun. Um, I bought this on Amazon uh, probably about two years ago. And it's just a cheapo Chinese. If you look at, uh, online, anywhere, eBay, whatever, you're going to see tons and tons of this model. It's it's basically a knockoff. And it's Zenny. There's ten different names. They're all pretty much identical. You might see maybe, uh, you know, a little different gun. Uh, but it's basically the same LED or the same displays, same buttons. Maybe uh, I might see some different knobs on it. But basically, it's a Chinese soldering iron station, and it's it's pretty good uh, for what I'm doing. I'm not doing some production work. It's just uh, like hobby stuff or just fixing parts. But I haven't had any problems with this so far, and I've had it. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna say let's say maybe two years, year and a half. But uh, really nice. And what's really nice is solder and iron. Uh, you can adjust the temperature, and this sucker heats up fast. I mean, it heats up fast. Uh, I usually do, and this is, you gotta remember, this is Celsius, so it's not, you know, you're not looking at um, uh, 350 degrees. Uh, uh, you're looking at Celsius. And this is pretty kind of how I set it for the solder that I use 300, uh, 350. And it heats up fast. You can see it kind of go in there, let it heat up all the way. And let me find some solder. Hello, Mr. Solder, where you at? I know there's solder here somewhere. Come here, Mr. Solder. Here we go. Here's Mr. Solder. So there you go, 350 degrees already. And basically, you know, it's she's melty, nice and hot and melty. Oh. But um, <clears throat> it does a really nice job. It comes with the the uh, solder iron. And it came with a bunch of tips. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the big, big flat tips or the big tips. I like little pointy tips. Uh, sometimes it's a little harder to uh, solder with a pointy tip, but um, I like doing fine work. And if it takes a couple seconds extra. That's okay. For me. But it's nice. The cable's a little short. It's probably three foot. So I mean, you're not going to be standing ten, away, ten feet away from the solder iron and solder. But, um, does a really nice job. Came with a little base, uh, just a cheapo uh, nut, uh, plastic base. I put a bolt in there just to kind of, it's so light that it doesn't, uh, you know, you, it doesn't sit very well. And I put some little feet on it just to keep it from sliding around. So that does a really nice job for that. And um, the hot air for the reflow, uh, that sucker heats up fast too. And uh, <clears throat> what it is, there's a pump inside here and the heating elements in here. You'll see some of the other ones. The heating, uh, the, the pump will actually be inside here, so that's why if you look at this, you see he's got kind of a uh, little bit bigger hose because the air is pumping through this hose here. Or some of the other ones, the fans inside here, the heating elements all in here. But the he heating elements in inside this. Thing. And this guy did come with a bunch of tips. I'm using just like a fine, fine tip because uh, I'm do doing some fine uh, desoldering. And you can do it for reflow, but maybe what we can do, we can just do something, we'll take something off. Here's gonna be kind of hard to see. Let's see. Turn this heater on, and let's see. Uh, this controls the airflow, and the heater is kind of the same as the top one. You select the heat you want, and it goes up to 480. Same with the uh, solder iron. The solder iron goes up to 480. Um, I usually don't run them both at the same time, just because you know you can only use one at a time, and it heats up so fast it really doesn't make a difference. But, uh, so let's see, I'll just say, I'll do like 350 or so. You can see we're at 350. Then we take Mr. Solder and Mr. Soldering Iron. You can kind of see he's, uh, I don't want to drip it all over me, but he melts fast. If I can get it on there. Oh! Anyway. So it's really, really fast. Uh, the other thing you have to understand when you turn this off, the fan runs for a while. Um, so let's say if I turn off the 
hot air. It's still going to run a while. What it does, it has a little circuitry in there that it runs for a little while and then cools it down. So that's kind of a nice feature. I think it cools it down to like 100 degrees, so you're still going to get burnt, but you're not going to be, uh, you know, in the hospital. Um, so anyway, it's a very nice uh, a reflow station. Uh, like I said, you look online, you'll see other brands. This is Zenny, and I'm not sure. I don't know what Zenny is or who it is, but it's probably Wing Ding Dong in uh, China cranking them out by a five-year-old kid soldering them together. But uh, anyway, if you just want something uh, a little higher end than just a plain old soldering iron that you plug in as, you know, it's on or off. A uh, really nice investment. These are like, you know, maybe 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Uh, depends on where you get it from. And uh, like I said, they're all basically the same same thing. Uh, definitely, definitely worth getting it. Figure, you know, you spend 10, 15 bucks on a soldering iron that just turns on and off. And, and the bad thing about some of the cheapo ones, plug it in and you wait four or five minutes. This one, you're looking you know, 15, 20 seconds in your soldering. So just, just being able to do that, uh, that that's a nice thing. There, I mean, there is a, uh, some instances where you just want a soldering iron that you can carry around. So that be plug in one to be good. This one, I mean, you're not going to be uh, climbing up the ceiling and holding this while you're soldering. This is more for a bench top. So anyway, highly recommend it. Get yourself one.